Before we get into today's episode, just want to say get well soon. Obviously, I know he's a fan of the channel. Christian Eriksen, I can tell that was a wake-up call for a lot of people, wasn't it? It felt... Puts, puts things into perspective, doesn't it? But thankfully, he seems to be recovering well. And it was nice to see sort of... Occasion, you know, there's a lot of rivalries in football. And whether it's between clubs or between nations and stuff like that. And it's it's kind of nice in a way to have one of those moments that just kind of brings everybody together. Especially, obviously, because he's he's, he seems to be recovering. Um, but yeah, fucking... That was a shocker, wasn't it? As for the rest of the uh, European Championships... So far, so good, isn't it? England look all right. They'll 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 find a way to fuck it up. But um, good goal against Scotland, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but Wales got a decent draw. Doing all right. Right, let's get into football. I've done some transfers. We had a... Th <laughs> you know, one of the really funny things happens when you have a, a takeover of your club during a transfer window. That's always fun. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to Basingstoke. Welcome to the championship. I know, like, I often try I try not to get down, like, at the start of a new season when we've been promoted, and I'm like, no, come on, we'll go again. We go. This one seems quite, I feel actually quite scared. Um, especially because just at the cr critical period where transfers, uh, contracts are running out, the... We had a takeover, but the good news is the takeover, the guy taking over the club had decided that he was going to write off all the debts and it went through. So as you can see, we've still got all our debts because who knew football club owners are liars? Who knew? What a surprise. I can't believe it. Like, take note. It can happen. <laughs> ah, but it's done. Um, and I think he put, he put a million or two million quid or something in. I can't remember. Um, but didn't fix any. But... If you look here, we have an affiliate club, everybody. I've managed it. I have completed a football manager. I am a god. Oxford City. And we are, because we've got some, you know, quite bad regens and stuff and, and other players. I thought, as a bit of fun, we get Oxford City promoted. That was my plan. I'm like, we've got some good youngsters that might not make it. Um, but it was a good experience for him. I'll send them all my loan players. He can only send two. Which is a little bit of shit. I've got to be honest. I thought we could send more players to a club. I was hoping to send four, to be honest. But we've sent them Gary Smith, um, centre-back. The six foot seven centre-back. He's going to dominate. I'm, I'm expecting goals from him this season. Um, and we've given Hasbro's gone over there. Our Jamaican striker. Who should do well in this league, right? Like, he, his physicals... For the National League South... I feel like they'll do it. So we're going to keep an eye on Oxford. They're going to be our little pet project. They're, they're a good side. They've been sitting in here for a while. <laughs> right, let's take you through some transfers. So, back to this one. So we got the two freebies. Or Lewis Kingsley, 12 grand, which is basically free. Who's who's an absolute beast. 19-year-old Scottish player, under-19 international. And then we picked up, just from the re regens, uh, Smegatron, who's a good player, who I tried. It's kind of like a budget version of the other guy, who also tried to loan to Oxford, but we hit the max already. Okay. Um, and then, so let's, let's go through the outs first. No outs. There's a few released. And a few loanies. Free transfers. There was there was no free transfers. I take it back. <laughs> Nobody has gone. The problem was like, as you can see, didn't make a massive amount of transfers. I'd already planned not to go crazy and rebuild the team. I was like, I'm always tempted to upgrade the strikers all the time. But I've got four strikers I really love. So fuck it. We're keeping him. We just needed to basically fill in some of the loan gaps that we're leaving and stuff like that. And strengthen in a couple of areas. So... On our new right winger, Anthony Battersby. I'm just, I'm just gonna call him Les. Right? It's a, it's a Coronation Street reference. <laughs> we'll go with, <laughs> for all our international viewers, a Coronation Street reference. So Les is our new right winger, 17 years old, because you know I like him young. Um, from Lincoln City, 200k. 
I think this guy's a bit of a beastie. He's quick. He's got a bit of flair about him. He's obviously going to improve. We have our training facilities done, so we have like adequate, maybe below average youth training facilities that cost us like eight million quid. <laughs> it seems hard to build facilities nowadays. Don't get much for eight million quid, do you? Um, <clears throat> and then we got Troy Mitchell on loan from Birmingham, uh, a new left winger option, eighteen years old, uh, on loan for the season. And then I finally I did I caved and bought this guy Casper, who spelt his name wrong, Kloss. The KK, just, no, let's not call him that. Let's call him Kloss. Um, he's on you right back and left back. He's on 5K. The wages have gone up. There's just no, of. I tried to keep the wage budget as low as possible for as long as possible. But once you get to the championship, you kind of just have to pay people, uh, <laughs> which is unfortunate. But he can play both sides and he's a good, well-rounded player. And finally, we got Roy Winter on loan from Newcastle. Uh, he's another left winger option, so whoever feels in best out of those. Uh, we've got, I may have only just discovered this, and then I went back because I was like, hang on, and checked some comments, and then I saw people pointing it out. Bob Bell, our fantastic right winger, we've got him for another season, is actually left footed. So we played him on the right for the entire season, he gets nine goals, 12 assists. Which makes me go, well, should I just keep him there then? He obviously likes it. But no, no, we're going to we get He's learning the left mid position because we have right mids as well. Not only we've got Ben Hunter in there. Don't forget this guy, you know, the guy that broke his body um, during last season. And we've got, so they're the only, so we've only got three, three loanies. We've got our four strikers. Like, we've got a good team, but this might be a little bit soon. Uh, we've got a strap for another season. Yeah, we've got we've we're fine. We're fine. But there is one transfer I'm trying to make. I am spending stupid amounts of money on for for us on what Well, I've already done it. I've already done it. <laughs> he doesn't arrive to the eighth of next month for reasons. Uh there he is. Um five hundred thousand pounds. And he might not initially be he's only seventeen. From Brescia. Matteo Severino. It's a good name. But he's Italian. I just... With the work permit problems in this game in England, it's just so annoying. And when you get a chance to just sign somebody from another nation, I'm like, yes, we can get him. He's got 16 work rate and 20 teamwork. He's fickle. Um, it's not the paciest player, but he's like, he's only 17. I took a punt. We took a gamble. I was... Again, struggling to get fullbacks that I could afford to pay and stuff like that. So, um, and we're looking at maybe getting this guy as well as a right back option for a hundred grand. It's like, yeah, let's go for it a bit. So we've got money in the bank, but we are the committed spending is now up to seventy two. So we've gone up quite a lot. I can't check this, can I? Before let's have a look at the season preview. I'm assuming, yeah. Oh, yeah, quite a just two hundred to one. Worse off than Colchester, who got promoted with us. Okay. Respect. Um, yeah, okay. So let's pick a team. Barker in goal. Centre-backs, McNally, captain, leader, legend. And then we have options here. They're the two certs. Mazinga, Hurdle. We've got the left-footed um, Camphius. So we've got options, or we can play Alex Murray, but he's more of a, we're playing him as a ball-winning. I think we go with Mazinga. Um, and then we have, we'll put you, Camphius, Cohen Camphius on the bench, because you can cover a couple of positions. Now, right back, Troy Mitchell can play wing back but he can't defend five tackling seven markings so just ignore the fact he can play there because <laughs> it's a lie now who do we f play full backs until our new guys arrive we've got we could go classic i think we go strap on who was really good one of our more experienced players and then we go new guy american man with some soccer balls a right back now a right midfield we have Ben Hunt. We have Troy Mitchell. He's not quite fit yet. Let's go you, and then let's go you. And then left, 
And we oh sorry, we've got Les. Let's get let's give let's give Les. Um and then on the left, we've got Bob Bell who's training there, and we've got Roy Winter. We've got to get Bob first, I mean, like. Okay. And then in the middle. Now, this is the tricky bit because we have our ball winning midfielders, right? Murray's great. De Batista can play there. Now, central midfielder, De Batista had a good season. We've got this Lewis Kingsley fella, but he is not a central midfielder. He's so much a playmaker, but I've struggled with playmakers. We're going to try it. <clears throat> because he's just so good at it. 14 passing, 16 vision. First touch is 14. Decision making, 14. Passing, for, like, he's it, got good technique. If we can make it work. And then up top. Now we've got Roy Winter that can play up there as well. What's his finishing like? 10, okay. If it all goes tits up, we've got him. Um, And then we'll have... Mayer, who's just signed up a new four-year deal. Because I couldn't I couldn't get rid of him. I just couldn't. The Batista's unlucky to miss out. Um, and then we have Dario Speedwagon. And we'll have Glyn Grady. There we go. It's a decent team. And it's going to improve. Gloss can play bright midfield as well at a push. Which is not... A bad thing. Right, who are we playing? Blackburn. Where are Blackburn? Okay, should we have a look? Or do we want to see? He's worth 11 million. He's on 28 grand a week. That's a third. He's probably not even that expensive. But he's a, that's that's <laughs> almost half our wages. Okay. This is going to be a long season. We might have to change this tactic slightly, I think, just to make it a little bit more rigid. Because this is not one of the... I, I'm pretty sure... Before we even kick off, I'm going to say where we think I'm going to come. You can do the same in the comments and vote up the one that you go for. I'm going to say... 18th. I think. We've got nothing to lose here. Wow, that's always a good... That's a good angle as well. Like, I think... If we stay up, I'll be delighted. This is not one of those ones where we finish mid-table and then the next season we get promoted. That's I'm I'm sure that's not... I was going to say I can guarantee it, but that's a bit pessimistic. Okay. I guarantee it's that fucking fellow as well. Okay. Settle in, boys and girls. This is going to be a long old season. <clears throat> right. Kloss. Little flick on. Lovely. Oh, unlucky. Lucky Les. McNally does well. We're still going. We're still highlighting here. I'm not a fan. He's a little fella, isn't he? Get there, get there. Block it. Oh, it's pinballed around. It's onside. Bruno Tavares. Oh, that's unlucky, I feel. That's it. John O'Shea all over the place, right? Look at it. It's a good ball across. But we got there to him. Murray and Kloss both. But he cuts it back lovely. And he goes, bing, ding, 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 ding. Let's tap in. It's 2-0. Okay. I can see where the 400 to 1 came from now. Seems a bit optimistic. I'm going to encourage them. <laughs> this is going to be such a bad season. <laughs> Cup run. Yeah. Definitely going to be concentrating on the cup this season because I'd like to win some games and that might be our only chance. I know it's, it's kind of a cliche. But I feel, especially with the takeover that happened, I feel very much we got promoted one season too soon. That's... I'm hoping, because we've got like three and a half million in the bank, that they maybe give me some more money in January. Okay, 2-0. Not the worst thing in the world. We've got, we got a bunch of players. We've got, what, how many? I'm trying to think of excuses. We've got one, two, three. Three players making a debut. I kind of want to just get them all out of the way. Okay. 
Um, the Batista can come on for King. No, no, that's. I want to see how he gets on. Um, ben Hunt, we need to get on his fitness up. We'll keep those. Okay. <clears throat> Surprisingly, nobody, no big teams came in for any of our players. Like there was no interest whatsoever in any of our our expensive players. That's lovely. Go on, go on. Yes, let's go. We're gonna win the league. <laughs> <laughs> right. <clears throat> we lulled them. They thought we were shit the first half, but it was just our plan. It's nice to get off the nice to score a goal though. Really nice to score a goal, even if nothing comes of this. Oh, hang on. Set piece. Floss is taking it. It's decent. And now they score. Oh, the old man strap. Go on. He's done well. Look at the pace of strap there. Good block. Good block. Oh, they're, they're getting some fluky goals here. Oh, we defended that so well. Strap was flying to get back. He's brilliant. The Batista will make you a central midfielder, sir. Okay. We're going straight on. There must be a kicker. Where's that to? Okay. Oh, he's pulled him back. Okay, he just stopped running. Like, just instantly stopped running. Is that how... Oh, yeah, that's how physics works. Momentum's not a thing. Oof, Jesus. A little flick on. Go on, chase it. Unlucky. Okay. So we've conceded. Obviously... Considering it's th they're going to score again here, aren't they? <laughs> okay, it looks bad now. It looks... But okay, ignore this goal. Before I was about... 3-1, and we've created a decent amount of chances. Ain't too bad away from home. But 4-1 now looks like a... Thrashing, doesn't it? Right, go, go, go. Let's get... 4-2 looks like we battled for it, doesn't it? <laughs> I think they've lost out, though. Ah, oh, Debatiste, he could have nicked that. Don't be 5 1, though. That's just a dick move. Oh, that's a good turn. Side netting. Come on, boys. Still not the worst. Okay. It's not. The scariest thing is when you're playing like much better teams, is when you just don't create any chances whatsoever. And you're like, fucking hell, we're not even creating chances to score them. We did. We are. And we scored. Okay, yes, we conceded four. I grant you. I'm not going to... Let's go easy on them this season because otherwise I'm just going to be shouting at them for the entire season. So let's just go easy on them. Don't worry about it, guys. They are a lot better at football than we are. So get used to this feeling, okay? We've got... There's probably like four or five teams on this on the, in that table that we can beat comfortably and we've just got to make sure we win those games. Okay. Oh, well done. Saluting. But... It's a month until the new guy arrives, which is, I don't need, to be honest, I don't ex expect him to make a massive impact in Italy anyway. So it's not going to be that different. We need to find a way to win. We'll play some games and then we'll work out if we need to um, panic and change the tactic. Oh, look at all these big clubs. Bournemouth are still in the championship. We've got Peterborough in the first round, which is not an ideal... Uh, League Cup game to be honest but we'll be back for it what do we want well, let's do Millwall dirty Millwall right there we go my friends let me know what you think put in the comments where you're going to finish we're going to finish there was a silver lining to that 4-1 let's, let's go with that thank you very much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it I'll see you next time bye bye